Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Gen Plays. Welcome back to Hamburg. We're going tall today. I don't know what episode this is, but I'm still playing. This is going to be the last episode that I record today. I'm sure the next episode I'll be as very confused where we left off. But for now, I know exactly what's going on, and that is we took exploration and we're going to start to explore today. At least that's the idea. Hey, we discovered the Gulf of Guinea. Nice. So we can see down here that Benin has not been touched. Has anyone colonized? Yes, Portugal has already colonized down here. And over, oh wow, Portugal has a lot over here. Uh, yep, Portugal has land here as well. And he's colonized Cape Verde. Okay, so Portugal is really heavy on the colonization. Castile has done a little bit, not much. All right. Yeah, we're gonna be late to the party, but that's okay. We'll get there. Of course, we have our happy march, Mr. Brandenburg. We have our allies, Mecklenburg and the Teutonic Order. And I don't think anyone's going to screw with us. As long as we're allied to these guys, we should be okay. France, ally France and ex-Provence. Okay. Goodbye, Provence. Goodbye, Provence. Nice knowing you. Come on, France. You can core that. You can core that. Oh, he's not coring it. Austria has declared war on Hungary, and this time he's winning. What's the difference? Why is Austria suddenly winning this time? Because the last war he lost massively. I think it was the same people. It was Naples, Genoa, Hungary. Yeah, it was the same people. But for some reason, last time Austria lost hardcore. Naples came up here and invaded him and he surrendered Graz and Crane. This time Austria is winning. I honestly don't know what the difference is. I have no idea. But whatever the case, Austria is going to win this war. I want to see what happens in the peace deal. Let's see, no alliance... Ah, oh, no alliance. Come on now. I need I need alliances. Give me an alliance. Urgh, I need alliances so bad. Mainz wants an alliance. Cologne wants an alliance. Uh, Cleves does not. Holland wants an alliance. That might work out. Who hates Holland? Gelray, Flander, Brabant, and Friesland. Well, if we do that, we're giving up on Brabant. Maybe we should go for Brabant. Yeah, I think Brabant is a better better idea. Brabant does want an alliance, but we have to wait until we don't hate him anymore. Right now, we hate him. I guess we could ask for access. That'll hate him a little less. If we could just get a marriage, then we would instantly be able to, to ally him. But the problem is we can't marry because we're a republic. So we just got to wait. Just got to wait. All oh, right, we're at war. We're not at war. We are rivaling Pomerania. And uh, we need Bohemia to not want into this war. Right now, Bohemia has got some war exhaustion. So perhaps, perhaps if this war drags on long enough, we can declare on Pomerania and Bohemia wouldn't join. Who would that leave in? Austria, right. But if I fabricate, then it's not a problem. So let's go ahead and fabricate. Actually, maybe we can do a trade thing, trade conflicts. Oh, they need, they need at least 20%. They don't have it. All right, so we'll fabricate. And in the war with Pomerania, I would just want to uh, humiliate him. Just knock that power projection as high as it'll go. Ah, there's Cape Verde. What's up, Cape Verde? Oh, do we keep him again? I think we do. Look at that. We have pretty good tradition. We're gaining 1.6 tradition a year. That's not bad. Let's, let's keep Otto Adler again. This guy's good. He's a little old, but he's good. Yeah, 633, three, baby. That's so nice. Hey, France and next Cornwall. So France now has a direct border with England again. I get the feeling he's going to go for, for broke up there. Oh, there you go. Now you can see Portugal's colonies here in Africa. He is really, really quickly colonizing this stuff. He has another one that we can't see there. Um, he is not in Sao Tome yet or Fernando Po. Okay. All right, France, you want alliance? Do you want alliance? Do you want alliance? <gasps> no. Damn it. All right, well, who does... Oh, there we go. Naples has finally showed up. And now that Naples has shown up, he could turn this war against Austria. He could really turn this war. Denmark, no alliance, huh? What about relations? Let's get relations up. We're over our troop limit? Gross. But we're under our ship limit. Let's build some more ships. 
ah, we finished our marketplaces. Good. So we now have marketplaces in Hamburg and Lübeck, which increases our trade strength on the node by quite a bit. We're getting 79 trade strength from our provinces. 86 now. That's really nice. Denmark is the only one that's close to us, and almost all of that is in Sealand. So I kind of feel like, you know, at some point we should probably go get Sealand just because this is an important center of trade. And really, if we had Sealand, we would have so much more money than we have now. Like an amazing amount of more money. Oh, there we go. Look at all the land we can see now. Tech 8, looking nice. What's this? Missionary strength and national tax goes down, but stability is now 8% cheaper. Are we getting much money from taxes? Not really. We get almost all of our money from trade. I'm going to do this. Yeah, Suffragan Bishop is a good idea for me because we get lots of money from trade. We're going to be totally trade focused. I'm trying to read chat. What's going on in chat? Leave that island alone? I can't leave the island alone. Look, this is where we make money. We make money from uh, owning Sealand. Because Sealand is worth 49 points on this trade node. That's more than my entire fleet. It's hugely important. I'm doing pretty well, Sentinel. How are you doing? Go for trade power transfer? That's true. That's true. Would you transfer trade power to me? No. Yeah, he wouldn't do it. All right, we got our CB. Let's see if Bohemia would join. Say no, Bohemia. Say no. Oh, he still says yes. All right, well, we need him to say no. If we can get Bohemia to say no to this war, then I'm all for it. You know, I could fabricate on Friesland and declare on him. Who would that bring in? England. I don't want to fight England. Ugh, gross. Oldenburg wants an alliance. This guy really wants an alliance. Look at this. He's he's just hopping. He's chomping at the bit. But if we do that, we'd piss off Mecklenburg. And I really don't want to piss off Mecklenburg. Ugh. Well, we'll keep that CB for now. Uh, let's go back. Do I want to fabricate on anyone? Let's see, we're rivaling Pomerania, Saxony, and Verden. Do we have a claim on Verden? Um, no, we don't, actually. Let's get a claim on Verden. Why not? He's our rival. Pretty low chance getting discovered. Always imperialistic? Nah. Oh man, look at look at Lithuania push back at the Golden Horde. I did not. Ex I thought Lithuania would not be able to recover from this, but they're actually recovering. It's amazing. They're going to be fine if they can get all their old cores back. They'll be fine. And it looks like Portugal will cede Madeira to Morocco. Portugal renounced their claims on Ceuta. Oh, so Portugal lost all of his land here. Huh. Cool. And Morocco has gained Madeira. Look at that. I mean, it's going to it's gonna rebel back to Portugal because the AI... Here's a little hint. The AI has no idea what it's doing. It never does. So the AI took this province and it's got 15 revolt risk. It's just going to flip back to Portugal. The AI is not going to put any troops there. He doesn't understand. All right, let's get relations with Sweden just in case we can help Sweden get independent. Some random idiot died. Master of Mint. Hey, tech up time. We finally joined the ranks of cannons. I mean, I'm over my limit, so I don't want to build any cannons just yet. But I should probably have a token cannon so that we can help out with sieges. Even one cannon will increase our siege progress by 7%. It's that good. Hey, national taxes plus 10% for 10 years. That's nice. It's a really nice modifier. And it's exploration time. 
Okay, so the next thing we need is 50 Diplo. Once we have 50 Diplo, we can assign three trade ships to go explore. Oh my goodness, is that a three-star general? Holy crap, look at this. Gel Ray has a 6432. And he wants to be my ally. I'm tempted to take him as an ally just for that general. That guy's amazing. Nah. The general will die as soon as I need him. Oh, Bohemia has joined a war. He's now in two different wars. You know, if he's in two wars, he may not want to join against us. Let's find out as soon as our CB is done on us today. Let's see if he would join. Hungary will cede Pazoni, Grain, and Graz to Austria. Give Core Bosnia to Ragusa. Give Core Targovist and Buzo to Wallachia. Wow, Hungary lost so much land. He lost Bosnia, Targovist, Buzo, Crane, Graz, and Pressburg. Wow. Oh, Hungary. Sad day. And Wallachia and Ragusa have declared war as well. Oh, that is so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, Wallachia and Ragusa are also at war with Hungary. Oh no. Oh, Hungary, you're, you're just dead. Hungary's dead. Hungary is dead. Rip. Rip Hungary. All right, here comes our CB. All right. Let's talk. Bohemia, what do you say? Oh, he still says yes? Come on, Bohemia. You don't need to join this war. Wait, how many troops do you even have? Can we win against Bohemia? No, he's got 25. I'm not going to fight 25 troops. Get out of here, Bohemia. What is this? Onhalt is attacking Magdeburg. Oh, gosh darn it. Leave Magdeburg alone. What has he ever done to you? Legitimacy question. Brandenburg gets liberty desire and his opinion goes down or lose prestige. He doesn't have any liberty desire, does he? He has no liberty desire. Though our grip on the throne of Hamburg may be slipping and our legitimacy questioned. We don't have legitimacy. This is not a throne. It's not a throne. It's not a monarchy. Our pride and prestige took a hit when one of our subjects spoke up against us in public. They claim that we have no right in trying to govern them and we, we can barely manage to govern our own country. We have no right to govern them too, as we can barely manage our own country. Berate them for speaking out against us in public. Yeah, screw you, dude. Yep, Magdeburg was just annexed by Anhalt. Wow. Okay, then. Georgia has collapsed. Aw, Georgia. You're doing fine, Georgia. You're not even a vassal. Usually by now, Georgia is a vassal of QQ, but they're not. Oh, Sweden wants me to support his independence. Not that I can right now. I mean, Denmark's pretty much entrenched. There's nothing I can do about Denmark. He's allied to England, Poland, and Muscovy. Those are three top-notch nations right now. Let me work on Muscovy, actually. I wonder if I can get Muscovy in an alliance somehow. Maybe. Maybe. Lithuania peaced out. <laughs> Look at that. That is an interesting peace deal, Lithuania. Uh, I'm I'm not sure I approve of that. That is disgusting. Okay, I approve. I approve. That is some good border gore there. I like it. I like that border gore. That's good stuff. All right, do we have three ships yet? Uh, not yet. All right. There we go. There's our three ships. Let's go exploring. Oscar Rosendahl. Well, Oscar, I want you to find stuff for me. Are you serious? The only thing I can do is circumnavigate the globe. Okay, well, looks like you're going to patrol trade then. I'm very sad that that's all we can do. I thought we could explore from here. We can't even explore. That's so sad. We can't even explore.
We can't. We can't explore. I want to, but we can't. We can't. Are we going to stay as a republic? Yes, that is the idea. Mm -mm, you've got rebels. Oh, why do you guys stay Ally to Pomerania? Come on, man. I'm about to lose my power projection here, and I can't declare I got truces over here, man. Although my truce with Saxony is almost over. All right, tell you what, I'm going to ally Mainz, and then we are going to declare on Saxony, because our truce is up October of next year, and I want to get more power projection, so we're going to humiliate them again. I'm really sad that we couldn't uh, go explore. I thought today we we're going to go exploring. We just can't do it. There we go. Oh, right, we still hate him. Why do we still hate him? Because he, 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 he keeps taking land, but we can fix that. Here, give me access. And that'll bring our relations up by 10. There we go. Now we can do it. Yeah. Come on, dude. There we go. Yes. Mains is now our ally. Cool. How many troops does he have? Just nine. But still, that's nine more than we had before. All right. So if we're going to go to war next year, we got to see who's interested. Nobody. Why not? Hmm. Well, we'll see. Oh, right. We don't have a CB anymore. We don't have a CB anymore. Oh, I forgot. Last time we had a CB because our vassal Brandenburg had a core down here in Potsdam that was owned by Saxony. But now there's no CB and there's no way for me to fabricate either. Well, that's a problem. Well, there's your problem. You ain't got no CB. Oh, gross. All right, so we're just going to have to wait for Pomerania to break his alliance with, with Bohemia. It'll happen someday. In the meantime, get relations up with our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Declare on Oldenburg. Oldenburg is allied to Cleves, Friesland, and Holland. We could definitely win that war. But what would I do? I He's not my rival, so I can't humiliate him. I don't want to take his land because we're being peaceful right now. No, there's no reason to declare on Oldenburg. None. Zip. Nada. Ottomans have declared on Hungary. Yeah, see, that's how far you've fallen. When Wallachia and Ragusa can kick your ass, that's when the Ottomans declare on you. That's what happens. Oh, goodness. Okay, now we have to decide something important. Do we keep... Syndic Otto Adler. He's getting kind of old. I think this is the time where we get a new guy. I'm going to go with a diplomat. And we're going to hope that he's young enough to keep him to get our tech up on Diplo. I want to get all the way through the exploration tree with this guy. He is 30. This is perfect. He's 32 years old. Yes. Fantastic. Uh-oh. Crisis. Lose tradition or lose stability? Um, since we're at plus three, I think losing the stability is the right choice here. I don't want to lose ten tradition. Yeah, this is the right choice. Because we might get another random event for plus one stability. That would be nice. Okay, we're up to 11 monarch points a month. Not bad. Our truce with Saxony is over, but we have no CB on them, so can't do anything here. Uh, we cannot justify trade conflict because, well, we don't have any trade strength in a node where he's trading. What's his trade strength here? Um, only 9%? Ugh. So yeah, there's no way we could get a uh, CB on him. None. The only way we could do it is if our vassal fabricates on him, but he's not doing that. Why aren't you fabricating? Oh, he has a balanced leader. If he had an aggressive leader, he would fabricate. Eh, oh well. Okay, we got relations up with Muscovy. Is he interested in alliance? No, but maybe someday, right? Maybe someday. Hmm.
All right, mains. Why do you only have seven troops? That's disgusting. Get more soldiers, dude. All right, in the meantime, can we, we can afford some more buildings. Let's see what we can do here. We have a marketplace and a fort. What else do we want? Could go for manpower buildings. Could go for production buildings. Production probably makes more sense. Let's get production. What do they cost? 88 ducats. All right. Hunger will cede Maros and Hunyad to Wallachia. So Wallachia grew by two provinces. Good job. And Ragusa. What are you going to take, Ragusa? Burgundy declared on Trier. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is this? By the way, the king of Burgundy did not die, so Burgundy's lands will not get divided up. That's very rare for the king of Burgundy to not die. Oh no, look what England did to Leinster. No, Leinster. Or not Leinster, Connacht. No. Well, Connacht is dead. I thought I thought for sure England was toast in this campaign, but they're they're making a comeback. They're doing all right. I mean they could be better, but they're doing alright. Ah, oh, stupid Bohemia. Stop stop joining the war against me, Bohemia. You're a jerk. You a punk. How long is our truce with Verdun? Mm, do you know four? Three more years of truce with Verdun. Now, who are your allies? Oh, yeah. Verdun's going to be a good choice. This guy's only got one ally. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, now do we take an idea or do we go for tech? I think we need the tech. Yeah, let's get the tech. Naval morale and colonial range. Yep. Hey, we actually finished our mission to reserve, get our manpower reserves up. Wow. So we have 10 years of 10% more uh, taxes. That's nice. Let's see, do that. Rival of rival, Oldenburg. Let's do that. Because that I know we can do. Oldenburg loves us. Well, he should love us more. Okay, Austria has added Pressburg to the HRE. Congratulations. Hmm. France is actually considering an alliance. He's not there yet, but he's thinking about it. Poland is also thinking about it. Let's make him think some more. Should have left Verdun allied to Saxony. Yeah, that's a good point. That would have allowed me to keep declaring wars for humiliations. That's a really good point. If we had left that alliance, we could have declared on Verdun and then pieced out Saxony first to get humiliation with him. That would have been smart. But I am not a smart man. Saxony declared war on Brunswick. Oh, really now? I think Brunswick might win that war. Okay, finished a workshop. Let's build another workshop. And it's tech up time. Okay, now that we've teched up, can we explore? Let's find out. Tell me we have the range to explore. Tell me, please. Yes, we can explore. Okay, let's do it. The waters of the North Sea. Go. We can see. That's all we needed was some tech. Export licenses. Lose tradition. Gain taxes. No. I want tradition. Actually, we're at 95 tradition. Hmm. I think I'm okay with losing five tradition. That's not a big deal. Especially when we're at 95, you know? All right, let's see what's out here. What do you see, Mr. Oscar Rosendahl? Watch him die. As soon as he gets out here, he's going to die. North Atlantic, very cool. Eastern coast of Greenland, awesome. And that was it. He discovered two provinces. Okay, well, let's do some more. Let's see. The waters of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Oh my God, we can see North America. I want to see North America. Do it, do it, do it, do it. 
Production stifle. Production efficiency goes down for 10 years or gain inflation. How's our inflation? Uh, I'm okay with production stifled because we don't really make much money on production. I don't want to get more inflation right now. I hate inflation. Inflation sucks. Holy shit, Joloff westernized? I didn't even know they were westernizing. Holy shit, Jol Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Portugal has them full sieged. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Joloff's like, yay, I'm western. And Portugal's like, yay, you're a next. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's go see the new world. What do we got? No, you're going the wrong way. Not the Atlantic. Go to the New World. Go. Yes, that way. Yes, keep going that way. Go that way. Go west. Yep, there you go. So Jolof just finished his westernization, and two months later, he gets full and next. <laughs> oh, goodness. Go, go, go. Explore. Finished our workshop. Very nice. Notre Dame Bay, there we go. That is Newfoundland. Oh, Labrador Sea. It's the new world, baby. Hungary will cede Serbia, Varasid, Slavonia, Doni Krai, and Dalmatia to Ragusa. Wow. Oh, Ragusa, look at that shit. And he still has no allies. No. He's going to get full annexed by Hungary or Austria. Austria is going to come down here and full annex him because he has no allies. Oh, okay, 140%. He can't be full next, but still. Wallachia and Ragusa, they need to become allies. Work together, damn it. Oh, get some allies. But yeah, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Oh, we're off on an adventure, folks. Now, I tell you what, we're not going to be able to colonize this stuff right away. You can see how it's red. It's definitely out of range. And if we mouse over this province here, you can see our range, our colonial range is 275. And this province is 547 away. So we're going to have to improve this colonial range. And the easiest way to do that is to get to tech 9 and also take the next idea. Colonial range plus 50%. And tech 9 will put us, let's see, 320. Tech 9 will put us at 325. Then 325 plus 50%. Is that enough to get... 540 range? I don't think so. I think we're going to need tech 11. Oh, well. Either way... Oh, we might also be able to find a colonial range advisor. That's possible. Anyway, we'll have to look at that next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then. Have a good day.